I be telling people all the time I had the story of Melo. He's shooting, first of all, he's shooting all the rock. This game, he's shooting all the rock. And at the end of a, court, a half, he did some and turned around. And I was wide open. And he shot it with like two people on him, basically. They just left me. Boy, he missed that shot. We going to halftime. I don't That was some bullshit, man. What you doing, man? Wide open. That's some bullshit. Hey, jump, calm down. No, y'all ain't gonna say nothing to him because y'all nervous. This is my rookie year, so I'm tweaking. I mean, what do every day, man? Bump that Melo. You saying this in front of Melo too? That he walking in. Him. He walking in. He hear me though yeah. as he walking, but he already screwing up his face. Like, what shorty on? Like, who you talking to? So he done came in the room with that energy, like, bro, who you talking to type vibe? I'm, man, you ain't doing that. I'm wide open. You don't be that shit. If I was me, I'd have threw you that shit. And he say, jump. I'm what? But we loud at this point, and the people that are in between us, like Tyson, like, can y'all calm down? Tyson always looking at me like I'm just his, the youngest little brother ever. He'd be yeah. like, shut You know, he, it's easy too while he holding me. Tyson's strong, skinny. Yeah, he, I don't know how he this strong and he's skinny, but he just be, shut Like, nigga, shut up. Like, shut up. Melo, calm down. Melo say, shut I know he was there. I know you was open, but I work on that. And I was like, that makes sense. He said like, he works on that? He didn't say, oh, I, I, I'll hit you next time, or I missed you. Yeah. No, I saw you open. I know, but I work on that. Like being able to see you open. Yeah. yeah. No, I should probably like flinch for a second and throw you this ball. But no, nah, your feet wasn't ready. I work on this turnaround, and I knew it was going to be two people here because it was the end of the quarter. I was shooting that ball anyway. And nothing you could. Nothing. And he was letting me know, like, don't be mad next time because you ain't getting it next time. That's what he was saying. Yeah. And I respected it because it was like, I adjust now. Right. If you really don't like it, don't throw Melo the ball. <laughs> but you better <laughs> score it if you don't throw him don't the ball. Because mm. he came prepared to score this, and that's his job. Mm. So if you're going to do your own thing, by all means, but you better make it, or you better win. Or else you're gonna hear. You're gonna hear from Melo because Melo is gonna take the blame. He gonna sit there and tell the cameras, no, nah, I told him, you know, I told him to do it. Like Melo would take bullets all the time. No, it's not, Shump don't know what's going on. He's just playing at a high level, encouraging the guy. We need Shump to stay upbeat. And he probably was like, yo, you shooting too much. That's probably what he's thinking in his mind. Right. But he's not gonna do that. He's not gonna kill my confidence, none of that. He's he gonna, 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 he gonna take the blame. Love Melo Bernard. You went, you went out. Um... So it didn't work out for you at, uh, with the Knicks, no championship. And you're working with, now you with LeBron. Mm -hmm. Now it's a different leader now. How's that relationship with LeBron now and you and LeBron? It was weird at first, cause I was like Melo's man and I had, me and LeBron, like LeBron had, had to deal, you know me, I'm a constant conversation guy. So I'm, yeah, you ain't know nothing, you know, talking my shit to LeBron. So he had already dealt with like the annoying version of me. Mm -hmm. And it was like knowing they're like, they're not, they're actually great friends. But everybody makes them arch enemies. Yeah. Rightfully so. I love seeing them play against each other. I love watching them. Yeah. I love when they go to Definitely. war. Definitely. But I'm now, I'm like, I'm like the girl in between. <laughs> you know, the, you yeah. got the new girl yeah. that's like, yeah. oh, she broke up with him, but then she got with him not yeah. knowing, yeah. but it's like, ah, to kind of here now. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, damn, I'm on the other side. It felt weird. But um, Braun has a, a very genuine, it's a very genuine um, characteristic. Like It's like a, he has to share basketball knowledge with people. Like he's, it's, it might be his biggest superpower, his ability to get everybody on the same page. Like it's actually kind of scary. <laughs> how scary how? Like he can just ex he can explain this game forward and back. He has a very high IQ, basketball IQ, right? Wow, it's unbelievable. So you talk about somebody to know the playbook, know where everybody's supposed to be, know the other teams, coaches, playbook, style of coaching, how his ball club's gonna play. Like Bron's one of them where you'll be like, we going in the. Philly tonight, he'd be like, no, but they just hired their the, the new defensive coach. 
but he was at Georgetown for three years and I played for him one time at camp and he he his this is how they gonna play us. And you'd be like, what? <laughs> it's times that you got somebody that's been red hot and they running it off and we'd be like, um, yeah, the scouting report says he like, yeah, but I let him shoot that because in the left corner, he only shoots 26%. Wow, he does his study. He shoots, yeah, he shoots 46% from three, but he only shoots 26% from the left That's corner. Cool. And you'd be like, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> bro, thanks, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. make me feel like I ain't do my homework. Yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? I saw like, one time, like, he at a uh, news conference after the game, and he ran the whole play down. I'm sure you saw yeah. that, right? And he ran the whole play. He passed the ball down, got the rebound, came down, threw it in the left corner. He... Broke every the whole sequence down. I'm like, and it's nothing. Else. Like it's scary because there's times that he be in the game. He'll be like, he don't mean to do it, but he'll be like, like Jr. Hand, like he'll just throw it to the hand, snatch it, palm it, and then he'll say he'll like be in a post up, and he'll be like, shump. If he move, if he move, cut, cut right behind him. If he move, and he'll start his dribble. Tristan, cut, cut, take him with you, <laughs> and everything he's saying. You just watch it happen. It happens. And the moment that man flinch, I'll sprint behind it, catch, dunk. Works right through. It's times he done told us on the bench, Kevin, it's going to be there. And all I'm thinking is, dude finna steal this pass. Bron done took that mug and threw this mug behind his back, down the baseline, into the corner. Somebody done slid to the corner. Kevin Love done slid behind the little screen and shot this dunk. I'm like, this boy done threw this ball. He done caught this ball, ain't dribbled it, and palmed it and threw it like a bowling ball behind his back, all the way across the court, perfectly in the Kevin Love hands for the. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm on the court. Well, I'm just like, even I'm sitting there baffled. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope with the man. Like, he gonna do some stuff, but he can break, like you said, he can break it down. X4 did this, so I did this. Right. If X3 does this, there's no way he can recover to this. I don't even have to look over there. I know he's going to be there. I can just throw it. The defense will tell me where my people are. I'll just throw it over there. I know where he's at because you wouldn't stand right there unless he was there. Like He like that, where he know you guarding Ja. And if he drives to the basket and he see your eyes, the moment he see your eyes, and he don't, he looking for Ja. He already looking for him. That's what they be on. You be like, he threw a no look. Like, you know, he look. He look dead at him. Nick Gardner, mm -hmm. I got to get it straight to it. And he put it on you to make that shot. You had two different type of leaders. You had LeBron, Melo. Yeah, one was vocal. One, one was vocal. by example. Right, led For by sure. example.